Okay, it's uh, about time to mount the wing and do some testing um, of throws and all that kind of stuff. But before I mount the wing, when I finish the wing, I didn't mark these with my, my tape. And so what I'm going to do now, wing's upside down, so that's the left side, that's the right side because it's upside down. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm using the white tape for the left side, if you'll recall, and uh, just going to tape a small piece of tape to that, and then uh, use a pair of scissors and cut it off very close. <clears throat> and so we're going to mark this the uh, left aileron. One, and I'm going to take the other um, Aeron Servo extension, put some blue tape on it, and so I can find the end of the blue tape here. Where did the tape go? Well, I cut it so smooth it can't be found. There it is. Okay. And so I'm going to cut that and mark this one as the right aileron. One's marked left with white tape, one is marked right with blue tape. Okay, and uh, so now we're ready to mount it. I'll be back in just a second. <clears throat> a tip and a reminder um, because the aileron and aux one are on different channels, if you mix those up, guess what? The first time you start to turn your aircraft on takeoff, it's going to be backwards and you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna crash so you know, double make sure blue is on blue white is on white and you double check this as I'm going to do right now to make sure it all works correctly on the ground first time okay so um, this is the first time we're gonna mount the wing and uh, when I did this with the first uh, next star I did have a problem and I'll show you let's see what happens on this one Actually, I haven't tested this yet. I'm not going to connect the wires yet because uh, I'm anticipating a problem. And the problem is this. Um, let's see if it proves to be a problem. And the answer is yes, it is. Okay. So the problem is that the hole they drilled, um, the hole they made in the um, former support here on the airplane doesn't match the size of this hole. It's off by a little bit. Now there's two things wrong. This has a bit of flashing on it and that can be put taken off with a with a hobby knife and I will do that. But even after that this is not big enough. So I'm going to take the um, appropriate size drill and drill this out to make this fit better. You don't want it loose but you've got to get it in, and it won't go in right now. So I'll be uh, back in a second, and I'll show you what size drill that is, and I'm going to trim the flashing off of that piece of plastic. Be back in a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm back, and I've solved the small little problem. The whole size is supposed to be 5 16 This 5 16 drill would not fit in. So I've locked it in a, a vice grip, and uh, was able to work its way in and then sort of use it as a reamer to go back and forth and that uh, opened that up quite nicely and then the other thing I did and let's see if I can get the vice grips 
off. There we go. The other thing I did was I took a piece of 400 uh, grit emery paper and uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I already trimmed this with a hobby knife to get all the flashing off. Then I took the emery paper and uh, made sure that was smooth and uh, um, not oversized as it was. Okay. So this is like a <laughs> two tenths of a millimeter oversized, and that was undersized. And so between the two changes, it now slips in all the way in and nicely to the front. So um, that's what you got to do when your wing gets uh, stuck in your airplane. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Found another wrinkle. A uh, little problem to solve. The hole that this goes through, um, that you put the wing bolt through, isn't clear. Uh, this is actually 1564. Uh, it should be a quarter, but even the 1564, you can spin it, but there's a, a blockage there. Okay, if you try the quarter inch, um, it'll barely go in, but then it hits the same blockage but won't spin around it. So, what I'm going to do is clear the blockage, and I'm not sure if it's the plastic in this or if it's the wing sticking in something, um, but the bolt won't go through right. So um, I'll be back in a minute and we'll uh, figure out if this works or not, but I'm going to try to basically make sure that quarter inch bolt hole is truly a quarter inch all the way through. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and so I ended up using both the 1564 and the quarter inch um, drill bit. They all both go smoothly now. Whatever was blocking it's no longer there. So uh, we'll see if we can get the wing mounted. Okay, I'm back and I've determined the problem. The problem is this wing will not fit either airplane. Airplane number one's wing fits both airplanes. So what's different? It's this little plastic joiner piece. Okay, that little plastic joiner piece is about two millimeters longer between the front of this and that hole and the hole just will never line up on either airplane. No matter how far you push this forward that hole to there, in other words this hole to there is longer uh, and I think it's about two millimeters maybe even two and a half. Um, so it doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to write to or call uh, Tower Hobbies or product support for uh, Hobbyco and say send me a new one of these It's the right size. That's about all I can do. Thank you and uh, I'm going to be posting this uh, just in case uh, Hobbyco wants to look at it but uh, uh, We'll stop here and we'll test some more and do some more things after I get a new plastic piece. Hey, um, to continue the saga of the problem with this um, little plastic piece on the wing, um, Friday afternoon is when I discovered that this was a problem. Tried to call uh, Hobbyco product support, uh, couldn't get through, line was um, just sat on hold for Mm, 45 minutes or so. Gave up. Went to the website. Found this, which is the part you need. It's there's the part number. And uh, so I didn't buy one. I bought three, <laughs> just to be certain. So here's the one that's the problem. I marked it number two. Here's one of the new ones I just got. And uh, I took my ruler and measured by millimeters from the front to where the beginning of the hole is that's 225 millimeters and I take the brand new one do the same measurement 
and it is 223 and a half. So there's a one and a half millimeter measured difference between the this little place right here where it hits the front of the um, jointer where it goes in uh, to this hole beginning of this hole here so there is two molds out there these are injection moldings and um, this one works just fine this one doesn't silly one and a half millimeter so um, uh, I've already got one of them one of the new ones mounted on the wing I'll show it to you in a minute and we'll continue mounting this wing Okay, so I'll show you the wing in a second. What I want to do show you is um, before you assemble the wing, you might want to try the one that came with it. Um, drilling the hole out. Remember, I had to drill the hole out. Getting this thing as far forward as possible, just like that. And then drop your wing bolt in. Okay. And you'll see that that wing bolt, remember, this thing can't be changed. Uh, the wing perfectly fits here and it's perfectly flat on the bottom so when you drop the wing bolt in you can see that the the wing bolt is you know millimeter and a half maybe even two millimeters um, uh, too long and it doesn't won't, won't screw in take the good one do the same thing and you can immediately see that the 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 um, before you even put the wing in and put, put the bolt in that the wing uh, bolt lines up you can start it and it works just fine so I'll be back and show you the wing in just a second okay when you're first uh, test mounting the wing I usually have the wing start like this upside down you reach in and grab the two um, wires uh, for the um, aileron servos you got one with a white tape and you got one with a white tape here you line up the black to black uh, wire on the three wires and then you do the same thing with the one that you've marked with the blue tape blue to blue remember this is going to save your airplane one day because you can't you cannot mix those two wires it will crash guaranteed um, So now, when you put this in, those two wires are good. Okay, you slide it all the way forward. You drop in your wing bolt. You can't see that, can you? <laughs> Hold on a minute. There I am. Okay, so um, you slide in the wing bolt. Okay. And you start cranking it down. You slide it in all the way. There we go. Okay, and and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, this bolt is a, is a perfect fit. So one of the things you have to do is make sure that the wing is not tilted or, or shifted left to right like this. Okay, when it's exactly centered, it goes in very nicely. What I recommend is you take a sh once you get it in there for the first time, take a sharpie marker and mark where there's a, there's a little seam on the center of this uh, white plastic piece. Put a sharpie mark on the fuselage and one on the white piece so that you know exactly where that's supposed to be when it lines up okay then then you grab your your wrench that you have and I'll this will be clear uh, this will be in my field uh, completion guide for all the field equipment that you need this has uh, this is for your spark plug that ends for your spark plug uh, glow plug <clears throat> and then also on here 
There's this one here is a 7 16 um, bolt and it fits perfectly on this um, Dubro bolt and uh, makes it a whole lot easier to to tighten this bolt down okay and then you can sit and watch the um, the center joiner piece tighten up on the fuselage doesn't have to be real tight uh, but it should be um, the, the back back here should be flush and uh, touching um, you don't need to crank it down because you'll break the plastic bolt so just get it to where it's uh, not loose and if you can do that and it moves a little probably needs another small bit of tightening okay so let me tighten this just a little bit more okay so now this shouldn't move okay and uh, and your and your wings on so uh, thank goodness <laughs> Uh, I'll be back in a, uh, on the next video and show you um, uh, how we do the um, uh, control thro throws for all of the, the uh, ailerons and elevator and rudder and so forth. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Hope you enjoyed this one.